Alright, so today we'll be looking at it from written by a man or a woman. And this quiz is by Bunkbed31. And question number one is, what type of living situation do you see yourself in five years from now? My personal philosophy, I don't really think that far ahead in my life, so I'm going to gauge this question more on, like, looking at each answer and gauging them on, like, realism and desirability for me and that sort of thing. And the first option is at home living with my parents like a loser, which is a very judgmental answer. First off, I don't like the tone of that. With the way everything is now, a lot of people my age still live with their parents. In fact, my parents still live with their parents. So like living with my parents five years from now would not be like against my genetic patterns, you know? Alright, and option two is in the city with some friends, which isn't a super realistic answer for me. Where I'm at right now, friends are kind of legal, and I don't know if I'm going to be working, like, in the city. Maybe, probably, but anyways, like, the only way I could get in this kind of situation is if I moved a fair distance, which is not impossible, but, like, I don't know, it's probably unlikely, so... That being said, the way they phrase it, do they mean with some friends, like the friends are going to be living with me? Because I guess that can make more realistic. I, all things considered, I'm like, I think I'm fairly easy to live with. I hope so. Like, I've had roommates before and I've befriended them well, so that could be a factor to make it more realistic. Third option is cheap, nasty apartment and alone. Which, I mean, is possible, but it's not something I'd aim for, so I'm gonna shy away from it for now. And our fourth option is somewhere in another country at college. I'm already going to university in my home country, and I, th I think I could only do this if I either held off on my following education, or if this is referring to, like, me getting a PhD somewhere else, which would actually be pretty nice. You know, I like exploring. I like other countries. I mean, not in the current climate, obviously, but usually on the off occasion that I can go, I always really like going places, which I mean, most people don't like enjoy just being in the same place all their lives. Well, some do, but I'm gonna like go with the option I'd want to see, and I'm gonna go with somewhere in another country at college. Okay, and we got an image. That's not what I was expecting. I, I don't like the looks of that one bit. I didn't know you could, like, have images in these quizzes like that. Second question is just music. The first option is I listen to that edgy poet stuff. I don't want to spare because it it's YouTube. I mean, a lot of the, like, folky stuff I listen to does probably count as edgy poet music, so... And some of the other stuff, too. That's probably pretty accurate, but I don't know if it's what I want to put in. Option two is I'm actually really picky with my music, which... Which is true, but I don't really like it because it doesn't really say much. If you ask someone, like, what kind of food they like and they say they're picky, that doesn't answer your question, does it? The third option is older music is good. I used to be kind of like only listen to old music when I was young, at least to some degree, but I don't really... Nowadays, I mostly only listen to like modern stuff, so I was gonna say maybe I'm just getting older, but that's not really how it works usually with getting older, right? Normally you like... Normally you have the era of music you listen to and you just congeal on it, like milk that's left out too long and turns into like a pudding or something. Like some weird kind of pudding you wouldn't want to eat. I don't want to be like that. Fourth option is I like white girl music. Shh. I don't really know what classifies as white girl music, but I probably don't qualify for this category. And the fifth option is I like literally everything. I love music. Which, I mean, I do, but in kind of the opposite way of the second option, like the I'm really picky option, it also doesn't really tell you anything about your personality, so I'm gonna go with the poet option. If they have a picture for this one, it's probably gonna be condescending as well, but uh, this time I'm ready for it at least. Okay, I don't know who these people are, so I'm gonna look them up. 
I looked it up and they are the Smiths, which are my least favorite band. So that's pretty good. I don't want to pick on anyone who likes the Smiths or anything. I know a lot of people like them. I just personally can't stand their stuff. Like, especially Morrissey's voice. It's just grating, you know? Third question is your type. The first option is I like people who are a lot like me. Which, I mean, it depends how they're like me, you know? Like, of course I like people with similar interests as me. But I don't want someone too similar, you know? Like, there's parts of me I wouldn't want to copy over. And the second option is I want someone completely different than me. Than me, not than. And also this option is being yelled. It's, I think it's a bit too late for me to yell, and also my vocal cords, I kind of like physically can't yell. I don't know, I'm one of those people, I'm not really built for yelling, but either way, I'm not gonna yell this, but just yell it in your mind or yell it at home. But either way, I want someone completely different than me. I mean, the thing is though, I'm kind of like right about most things, and so I don't know if I could like handle someone with that inaccurate of a worldview that they were acting different than me, you know? I don't know. But, but actually, I don't know like how you would connect to someone like that. I mean, maybe it depends on your personality. Some people can actually connect with opposites and some can't. It doesn't really tell you much, but anyways. Third option is I'm down for everything, honestly, which I am most definitely not. Like I kind of alluded to in question two, I have my personal tastes, I kind of want to lean into them, and there's a lot of things out there I don't like. The last option is Anime Girl, which I am not going to comment on. Overall, the first option, I like people who are a lot like me, I think is the best choice of the four. The second and third options both kind of make you let in things you might not want. My actual answer, I'm kind of just like too tired at this point for other people, but that's not an option unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to go with the first one. I like people who are a lot like me. Okay, I don't understand these pictures at all, but let's, let's keep moving. Question four is dating. The first two options both start with I'm with someone, and then they have like more on whether or not you actually like them, but I'm not with anyone. From my previous answer, you can probably tell where I'm gonna stand on this one. Like the last option is single and low-key wannabe, which is true for me. The fourth option is dating myself, which I don't understand allo culture all that well. I don't understand what the difference would be between this one and single and low-key wannabe. So I'm going with one I get that I agree with, which is the bottom one. And they're showing a picture of a couple. Like, do the pictures, are they chosen by your answer? Are they just random? Or is it the same picture for every response? Because I don't see how this relates to my answer at all. And question number five is favorite fruit. First option is I love fruits, all of them. Which I am actually a picky eater from question two. I know I kind of like came down on that option, but I'll kind of explain myself in greater detail as we go through each of the options. Like option two is strawberry. I love like strawberry flavoring. Like if you have strawberry milk or whatever, like my favorite flavor used to be chocolate, but it's kind of shifted over to strawberry nowadays. But the thing is because like the artificial flavor is so like, like they've chemically extracted the pure essence of that flavor or something. Having an actual strawberry is usually kind of disappointing in contrast. Like I wouldn't say they're bad. A while ago I had like a strawberry sundae with actual strawberries in it and that was pretty good. Like I didn't mind it, but overall they're kind of disappointing. Option number three is kiwi, which I mean kiwis don't really taste bad, but they're kind of weird overall. They're kind of like fake citrus. I don't know if they're actually citrus or not. They, they can't be, right? Based on their structure, but they have kind of a similar taste to like citrus or not. Like that bad, but I mean, first off, the peel is so like annoying and also they, I don't know how to explain it. Like they taste pretty good, but they, the mental image of how they tasted that they leave in your head kind of makes you think in retrospect that they weren't that good, even though when you're eating them, it's not that bad. I don't know if that's just a me thing or 
The fourth option is apple with a meh face. I like apples, like green apples in particular. I guess the meh face is there because it's kind of a typical answer, but I mean, it's really good. It's the best from this list. The fourth option is blackberry, which I, if I remember right, they're too tart for me. But the thing is, like I was trying to get out with apple, like I would maybe lean towards like a different fruit, like oranges or grapefruit if you had them. But because you don't have like any actual citrus fruits, I kind of have to go with the default of apple. And let's see what kind of picture we get. Oh, we don't. All right, question six is pick a song I've been nonstop listening to, and I have not heard any of these songs. I've actually, maybe I have heard the Smiths, and I've just like blocked it out in my mind. But I'm gonna go with, um, I kind of have to go based on just the name. The first option, John Mouse, I don't want to be mean, like that sounds like his actual name, but I'm not a big fan of the name, like, it kind of sounds like a cartoon character, John Mouse. Sorry to anyone whose last name is Mouse out there. Sorry, because of how bad your last name is. No, no, I'm sorry. Second option is Santo and Johnny, which doesn't flow very well to me. I don't know. The fourth option, I don't even know how to pronounce, so I'm going with the third option. I'm not going to read it out, but it's, you know, it's the kind of the boldest one, so... I gotta respect just, like, the going for it, you know? I've been emphasizing kind of going for it, so I gotta give credit to other people who are doing the same, you know? And that might be the single cover. I didn't actually look at the name of the song, which was probably a mistake, but oh well. Question seven is what pet would you pick? The first option is cat that is slightly overweight. I don't mind cats, like, they're not my number one animal, but they're certainly not bad. But I don't understand, like, wanting your pets to be overweight. Like, I had a friend who thought it was, like, cute or something. I don't really get that. You know, when I have a pet, I want them to be, like, happy and healthy. And so, you know, feeding them a proper amount is part of that. Option number two is pug. I like dogs overall. I'm not a big fan of pugs, but I feel more just like sorry for them. Like if you like see their skull, like how deformed it is and like with all their breathing problems and that sort of thing, like I don't want a pug partially because I'm not a big fan of their like aesthetics, but partially because I like worry about their health. Third option is bird of some kind. It depends on the kind of bird, honestly, like I am... I don't like birds on the face as much as like cats or dogs because I like, you know, petting and playing with my pets and you can't do that as directly with the birds, but you still can. I mean, I, from a having a pet perspective, I'm not as big of a fan as birds as cats or dogs because like, to me, they seem a bit more like fragile and I, you know, I want to like, you know, play with my pets. Not that I'm like rough with them or anything, but you know, I'd worry too much, I think, about hurting a bird. I'd be like too worried about a bird to like even touch it, and though I'm sure you're like, I know they're not gonna like collapse when you touch them or anything, but it's still like, whenever I touch like a more, you know, pr delicate, more like preyish animals, like a rabbit or something, I always get a little too like worried, even though I know there's no need for it. That being said, some kind of birds would be like really interesting to get, like, I know normally you can't really do this, but if I was in a situation in which I could have a pet, like a crow or raven, I think that would be pretty sick, but even like maybe like a gray parrot or something, just like seeing the intelligence of the animal is always fun for me. I don't know how intelligent pigeons are, like, I know they used to be, like, fully domesticated, like, pets, so that might be interesting too, but still, I think my overall judgment still applies. Option four is whale. Option five is I don't like animals, how? Which, I agree with the how part, like, I really like animals in general, like, I will willingly interact with any animal that doesn't pose a threat to my well-being. So, you know, of these options, I'm gonna go, I guess, with cat because, you know, it might be overweight, but first off, you shouldn't judge people on their baits, and secondly, you know, you can just put the cat on a diet. 
even if it is like somehow fixed as overweight, like permanently, that's still, you know, it's not the end of the world. Is that cat even like super overweight? I don't know much about cats, like thinking about it. Back at my family's house, we do have a cat and a lot of people in my family seem to comment that he's really chubby. I, he never seemed that way to me. I think I went with the right choice. I don't know, this, the image of this cat kind of sparked that memory for me. Question eight, which they have marked as the last question, I'm guessing the next one is going to be like the text box, is what do you value in a partner? Fortunately, I can't really like pick out anything too clearly. I'm just going to go with lol, I don't care. Like, I don't even know what I would say about most of these options. So let's just power on forward. Okay, sure. And here's question nine, here's a text box. It says, hi, I am so surprised at the amount of views this has, like actually. I made this when I was in a bad mental state and bored. I heard from someone that this was on EDTWT. I don't know what that is. So I just want to say, if you see this on that, please do not take these answers seriously. Which, I mean, it's a you quiz. I don't understand how you, why you would. And they say, I don't understand how that happened. Generally, I just made this for fun. Which, I mean, my first option would be to say something contrarian, like jokingly say, I'm going to take this super seriously, but I don't want to, like, come off as mean or aggressive or anything. So I'm just going to put something encouraging, like, hey, we're all just vibing here. Which, I mean... Sure, let's go with that and let's see what we get. First option is uh, death by a woman, which I think is meant to be good. I'll take it as a compliment. All right, and the bio is, I have a crush on you. You're hot. You like fruit and nature, simple, beautiful things. You are a simple, beautiful thing. You do what you want for yourself. I really adore that. You're confused about life, but not about who you want to be in it, which I'm so jealous of. What? You're like someone I would daydream about. Men probably aren't a huge fan of you, but hey, I think you're fruity anyways. I love you. And then their Insta, which... All right. I don't know if I should blur that out. I mean, it is public anyways. It's just their Uquiz username, I think. Based on how this is reading, I think it was meant for a woman, but I'm going to take this as like a compliment anyways here. And overall, it's pretty accurate, I'd say. Let's see how we scored, I guess. Right, we got the most popular answer by far, but I think it was like the one you're supposed to aim for, so I'm not too torn off about it. As always, we get five stars, and that's just how we go.